Okay, yeah. Uh, was that okay, Deville? I'm ready for my close up. Uh, YouTube, I just made a video on uh, repressurizing this can here. Right? Now, in the video, I'm making uh, homemade penetrating oil and uh, I'm filling this up with a syringe, whatever. I don't endorse that. But that's what I'm that's what I have done for years. But uh, I got this can from Princess Auto and you know you take the top off, you fill it up with a, a funnel, and there's a serrator valve under that uh, rubber thing, you fill it up piece of cake. So I've never seen those around. I've seen them in videos and everything, I just never seen them in the stores where I live. So I, for years I've been just filling up a can with the syringe and uh, pressurizing it. But the, the point of the video was showing to pressurize your can because so many of us have had, um, you know, WD-40 spray cans. I mean, I have bad luck. I buy a can of WD-40 and I'll get halfway through it and lose pressure you know and in the past what did you do well usually i just threw it out because i didn't use as much right but when you the more you use of a product you you, you realize hey you know i'm paying you know whatever product is but some penetrating oils and you know where i live is you know 10 10 bucks right so the more you use of a product the more you realize hey you know, that's money gone down the drain and it kind of pisses you off because you got half the product left. In the past, I used to cut the can, cut the can off and then dump it into a spray bottle and get the rest of it that way. Okay, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I was uh, trying to you get a nut off and I... Um, you know it's rusted on so i always spray it with um, penetrating oil and i for the most part i make my own i find that it actually works just as well and sometimes i i think that it works better so um you know a lot of times when you when i went out you know this is what you get right nothing right so what i do is i i make um uh, 50, 50, 50 acid, 50% 50 acetone and 50% um, transmission fluid. I'll put other things in there too, like, you know, whatever you want to put in there really, but acetone and um, ATF, automatic transmission fluid, it, just those two items is good enough. But I mean, if you got, you know, use WD-40 or something, you can put that in there as well. Like, it, it don't hurt, right? But there's no air in this can. But uh, right now, what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, safety first. Some people are safety second kind of people, but when it comes to this stuff, why take chances? Now, uh, what you're going to see me do, what happened to my... Uh, do here I, I don't you know you don't have to uh, to do this but I just the, the point of this video is I, I want to show you you know you don't have to mix your own uh, penetrating oil but it can be a can of anything you might have a can of WD-40 you might have a can of anything right um, that runs out of here you know so you you, you gotta sometimes you gotta half a can of stuff and and you know you might you might spend 12 bucks or something on a certain product and uh and run out of no there's no air in the can so i'll show you the process that i puts air in the can i'm not sure if there's other videos out there or... uh, of course on camera so push down Push it in. 
and then because you're putting liquid in so you're, you're you're taking up volume so you you right now you don't want to uh have any pressure in there so you'll just push down on this right and let that pressure out and you just continue the process so when I get this uh, put in here I'll show you the, uh, the method for putting the air in the can When you have all your uh, fluid, if you're making your own, uh, if you're making your own penetrating oil or whatever, then, um, you know, once you're finished the process of filling it up, it don't take that long. But however, now, you know, I just got one of these. Um, yeah, I, I just get one of those and you just a Schrader valve on there and you just fill it up like you would a tire and there you go. I still make my own but I just put it in there. Just topped up what I had left over there that I had made up. So with that said I thought this would be a, a video just to share. Like I say I don't know if there's a lot of videos out there on this. Like I say again uh, this can work if you just got a can that you bought at the store and it just runs out um, runs out of uh, hair you know and you just want to fill it up right. So all I'm doing is oh, I have a little tire. What I did was I took the oh there it is took the um the valve off of uh, this was the inner tube, right? Of a bike tire, and uh, so what you do is you take that and you just put that over the tube. Now I never have a problem with this thing, so my luck <laughs> is going to make a fool out of me. But you just push it in. Set your pressure to uh, 90 foot, 90 foot pounds, yeah. Just a second here. So you can go until it stops, but because the can itself is... It comes with, I believe it's 90 foot, I keep saying foot pounds, 90 PSI. Anyway, and I just got my compressor set for 90. Uh, I, you know, sometimes I don't even put 90 in there, right? Because to me, uh, I don't really have to because I can just top it up whenever I want. So, but uh, you get the idea. And uh, let's get the excess of those. There. You know. Put the can on. And then with that stuff, you got to shake it every time you use it. You know, just like going to the bathroom, right, guys? You got to shake it every time you use it. Just put it in there. Get, get this liquid through. See? No problem. So. Um, I know, you know, years ago I used to, used to piss me off getting a, you buy a can of stuff and then you'd run out of, I know paint is like that too sometimes, you run out of, uh, air pressure, you know, before actually you use up all the paint and, and so on. I used to, you know, use a bike pump, and, but... I've seen this. I don't know if I've seen it on a video. <laughs> Maybe I did. I don't know. It's been so long. But just take your bike tube and your, your thing, right? Cut the hole. Make sure you got enough that fits down over your, your valve. And 
Bob Junko. As easy as that. So anyway, guys, uh, if you use a lot of penetrating oil, but anywho, probably where you'll use it the most is when you run out of air in a can that you already bought. And it works every time. Makes no mess. Well, you know, for me, I've been lucky maybe. Made no mess, anything like that. So, uh, works great. So, uh, hopefully, you learned something from the channel. If, and